Hello, this video will show you the benefits that Mapbox libraries bring to visualizing maps in Oracle Analytics. This dataset has a history of traffic accidents in New York City for a period of time. If I just drag and drop latitude and longitude on a map, I can see here that I'm representing about 73,000 data points. Oracle Analytics now support up to 125,000 points in a map. So let me change the default map background to a different one, Oracle Maps. And let me toggle to the layer tab here and change from the point layer, which is a default, to a cluster layer so that will be more readable. So now let's give a little bit more room to the visualization here. Let me toggle off the panels and let me make the map a little larger here. And I'm going to zoom out and you can see that Mapbox libraries allow a very rapid zooming experience. So let me click on a row in the table and zoom into this row. So zoom to selected. And as you can see, the zooming is extremely fast and extremely fluid. And this is due to Mapbox providing a vector-based format for the business layer representation here. The zooming experience is seamless. So if I click on a different area here on Staten Island, for instance, and zoom to selected, the experience is just as seamless. So here is Staten Island. Now I can change the layer type on the map from cluster to say, let's go to the layer heat map. And here is our heat map coming up. And let's zoom on a given area again on the map. Same experience. Let me change then this to points then. So back to points, which was the default. That experience would be just the same if we had geometries and shapes as opposed to point, uh, I'm just using this point data set to represent a large volume of data. So here are my points, lots and longs of accidents. And let's do a filtering on the table now. So now the table is filtering the map. And when I click on a row on the table, I can see the data zooming on the map. So let's go to the quince and we're jumping to the Quince zip code. Now let's click on the zip code in Brooklyn and we're jumping to the zip code. Let's go to Manhattan again. And here's our Manhattan Street. So it's very interactive, very dynamic. I can jump one, one area to another one. Even when I have lots of data, this is the benefit of Mapbox libraries. So how is the upgrade managed with Oracle Analytics 6.3? So from 6.3 onwards, any new visualization of maps will use Mapbox library, like the one on the right here. The map visualizations created or imported from a project before 6.3, like the one on the left, will not be automatically upgraded to Mapbox. They will remain using Map Viewer libraries, and they will properly function just as they did before. But users can still upgrade them manually by right-clicking and selecting Upgrade in the menu. Once they do this and they save the project, that's it. The map is now upgraded to Mapbox. So in the August 2021 upgrade of Analytics, there is one limitation to Map Builder, which is in the case where users are consuming map backgrounds of type Baidu and or Google. If a map visualization is built using one of these two map background types, then it'll legally have to be using map viewer libraries and cannot use Mapbox. So technically this will use map viewer libraries. This will be handled automatically. The user doesn't have to worry about this. Thank you for watching that video.